from LA Late Headquarters in Santa Monica, this is Afternoons LA Late. It's a big afternoon of Afternoons LA with incredible great news about your fourth stimulus check update of 2022. In this recording, we go over the incredible great news about the Build Back Better Act, your CR for stimulus 1.0, 2.0, 3 and 4.0. Oh my goodness. Brand new breaking news is formulated in the last 24 hours. Then we turn to SS 200 2.0. The new effort and the new opportunity from Joseph Biden to send out SS 200 $200 checks on top of your existing benefits. I'll go over how we can get it done. Then we'll go over repurposing existing funds of money for additional checks across the board. And if that was not enough, then we turned to third stimulus, because guess what? Third stimulus is still paying out those incredible sums of money, and that's before we wait for fourth stimulus to become a law. A lot in today's recording. The Build Back Better Act, fourth stimulus, with thousands of checks, upwards of $65,000 for you. CR for stimulus 1, 2, 3, and 4.0 at mix, then SS200, and then the incredible repurposing of existing money and third stimulus everything is here everything is ready to rock and roll the only thing missing is uh mitch's lobster shorts <laughs> but they should be missing as well uh and those incredible details just get a hoodie blanket and wrap yourself like a donut they got them on amazon and they also got the lobster ones as well those incredible details as we go into a big bowl beautiful afternoons l8 and the excitement starts right here right now as afternoons l8 gets underway from Santa Monica, California. Hey, good afternoon, everybody. I hope you're having a beautiful, beautiful day. And away we go. That four stimulus recon will pass in the Senate, says the Senate Democrats. And that recon of the Build Back Better Act has lots of checks in there, at least $65,000 before the Senate changes come. But guess what? Senate changes will be on on the front burner for CR for stills 3.0 merging with 2.0. My goodness. I have all the incredible great news in this recording. Stay at the very end, I have lots of checks, including third stimulus. No time or place to wait for fourth stimulus to become a law, because $45,000 of checks are available right now under third stimulus. Meantime, we'll be looking at the history of SS200 and how to get that money out to you with SS200 2.0, and then the repurposing of existing funds as an additional stimulus check. It's all breaking news. It's all exclusive. It's all here on Adelaide, and I'm excited you're with me, and Joseph Biden making very clear he wants these checks to go out right away. And with that, I want you to subscribe. You're watching the number three most watched financial news channel in America. So subscribe and bring us to number two. Across the land, across the sea, hit that subscribe button, like the video, and consider becoming a member. Purple Hawk, Purple Barrel, or Casino VIP. So you get alert when a new video goes live. Meantime, sound for the LLA alerts. They're totally free. They're in the link to the description of the video. Hit that alert button right now so you do not miss a video when it goes live. And with that, we're going to go into the Build Back Better Act to start. That is the body of legislation that passed in the House back in November, now in the Senate. Has a lot of checks in there. Upwards of fifty dollars to $60,000 of checks. We're going to go over each of these incredible checks one at a time. And then go over what you need to know thereafter. There is three clusters of checks and three add-ons. And those three clusters of checks add-on add up to at least an incredible $15,000, but maybe $60,000. Three clusters, three add-ons. Ready? Here we go. Cluster number one got in there. Hazard pay for my essential workers. One more year. $4,000 of elder care. Got it in there. $4,000 of care for young children. Got it in there. The CTC, $3,600. Got it in there. $550 check for the Pell Grant recipients. Then money to repair your home if you live in a low-income community. And $12,500 for the purchase of a new electric vehicle. Wow, that is incredible. One of the best add-ons to this incredible recon comes from Southern California. Maxine Waters got that provision in there and millions of Americans that are viewers of this channel love the provision. 
What is it? <laughs> it is money to buy your first home. Oh my goodness. It's huge. And she wanted to give you 25000 It's just a little bit less. And yes, again, that is money given from the federal government to the seller in your name at the time of escrow. Wow, that is huge. Let's go now to the second of three clusters of checks. Here we go. Home repairs and paid leave. The home repairs are to weatherize your home. But the paid leave, folks, that is a lot of money. How much money is it? It is $1,700 a week if you make $70,000 or more per year. If you make $35,000 annual salary, $800 a week. If you make $15,000 annual salary, $400 a week. So you have to stay home because of, let's say, Omicron. You're looking at footage out of South Africa right now. Then you would get paid with this was law. How many weeks? Four to six weeks per year. That is huge. That is four to $6,000. Now, if you don't work but your son or daughter does work and they have to take off from work because of you and you're part of the house, Household, then <laughs> you get a check. The household gets a check. W2 1099, you all get these incredible sums of money. And with that, that is the first add on of checks. Now let's turn to the incredible second cluster, uh, the second add ons of checks. And the second add on of checks, you know who that comes from, the illustrious Bob Casey out of Pennsylvania. $250 billion, just a little bit less for free home health care and seniors on people on disabilities. Wow, they got it in there. That is huge. Now, let's go to the third cluster checks where we find true deliciousness. Free internet for all seniors checks. More about that second. Money for the farmers, money for the independent contractors, and it just keeps on getting better by the moment. Free school meals for all checks. And then seniors Two rounds of checks on the house, three coming from the Senate. On the house, they got in their dental vision. It should be in the house, they got their the Medicaid gap fix and the hearing checks. But then on the Senate side, doing a dental vision and lowering the eligibility age of Medicare, which is part for the course of what we're talking about, senators adding checks to this incredible recon, because guess what? That's what they vow when they talk about. I know think I think you know what those three letters I'm about to say are. Write them in the live chat if you know what they are. M S C. Senators represent they want to add MSC to the recon. So let's go over what MSC is, who gets it, how much it is, when would it happen, what do you need to know, and what is the backup for those MSCs. MSC refers to monthly IRS stimulus check. It's sent out from IRS. It differentiates itself from the rest of the money in the recon, which has multiple checks in there. These are ones that go out from IRS. Then... The eligibility would be the same as a third a stimulus check. The legislators represent to the viewers of this channel, tens of thousands of this viewers. The eligibility for the third, you forgot, or well, don't worry, I'm going to go over the details of it right now again. Single individual, $75,000 or less, you get it if that's your annual income. Married couple, $150,000 or less, you get it, double it if that's your annual income. Family of four, you get it, quadruple it if that's your annual income. And then if you're on benefits, SSI, SSDI, Social Security, or railroad benefits, you would get it as well. Meantime, if you file a tax return, it would go off the most recent tax return. That most recent tax return, if it had direct deposit account on it, that's how you get it by direct deposit. Otherwise, in the mail. It's not income. It's not taxable. And it's offered nationwide, not on a state-by-state -state basis. Then we queue up the question, how much? Well, those legislators represent the following calculations. $2,000 a first month, $1,000 thereafter for up to six months. So there you go. When would they add this MSC? They would add it on the Senate side during the Senate modifications. But is there another opportunity to get you a check? There is. And I'm going to go over all those details starting right now. When we talk about MSC, this is a body of pro this is a program that they represent they want to add into the piece of legislation we've been talking about so far in this video, the Build Back Better Act, and they want to add it on the Senate side. When? Senate subcommittee. They would send the legislation to the Senate subcommittee, make those modifications, add stuff in there. Then they have a Senate bill. Then they call for a Senate bill, bill vote on the floor of the Senate, and then they have a two-day vote-a-rama. That two-day vote-a-rama would then finalize and send it off to the president to sign. Now, is there other opportunities to get you money? There is those other opportunities, and that was first created on this channel two years ago. It's called CR for Stimulus. And two Saturdays ago, I brought it back on this channel asking viewers, do you want to do it again? And they said yes. So here we go. We're doing it again. And guess what's happened since we brought CR for Stimulus back on this channel? CR for Stimulus 2, 
3 and 4.0 are now heating up, with 2 and 3 looking to be very likely across the board. So let's go over what CR for stimulus means and what it is right today, this week as well. CR for stimulus debuted on this channel in, spring, in December of 2020. We had just seen the start of the pandemic in early 2020. We had gotten money for a first stimulus package. It had ran out. Then we were hurt being told that a second stimulus package was in the works. Package meaning thousands of pages. Works meaning no vote. The negotiators starting in the spring of 2020 were Nancy Pelosi on behalf of the Democrats, the Speaker of the House, Steve Mnuchin, then Treasury Secretary on behalf of the Republicans. Negotiating in the spring of 2020, no deal. Summer, no deal. Fall, no deal. Winter, no deal. So by December, I said, you know what? Common occurrence, no deal. We got to find something else. And so I thought off camera, what do I need? I need to find the following thing. I need to find a bill, not a package. That's a few hundred pages long, not thousands of pages long. That has an inherent deadline that can't be rolled over. And that with that inherent deadline, it can get passed. Bipartisan, easy, breezy, get out the door. I looked high and low and finally found it. Continuing resolution, CR. It has a lot of different names, but it's often called the continuing resolution. Why did it make sense? Because they don't roll it over months, maybe a few days, maybe a week, maybe a month, but not months. Because if they do, the federal government defaults. Neither Republican nor Democrat wants to roll over. Number two, inherent deadline, because of that. Number three, it's small. It's just a few hundred pages. And number four, it's bipartisan. So I came up with the idea. I delivered it on air with this channel's viewership. First, explaining what we're going to say, and then the advocacy and getting ready for the criticism. And what I said was the following. Hey, LA. Hey, everybody. It's LA. It's December 2020, and we've been looking at the second stimulus package for months, 11 months. I just think it's going on too long. So I've come up with an idea for you. Do you like the idea? Tell me if you do. It's called CR for Stimulus. There's a continuing resolution vote in December 2020 coming up in just a few weeks. If we insert a stimulus check in there and the CRs pass, then the check goes out. Do you like the idea? And viewers love the idea. They love the idea in December 2020 because it followed exactly what we're looking for. Getting something into something that has an inherent deadline that would go out right away and across the board. And with that, we advocated CR for stimulus. If you're in the live chat right now, Write the hashtag a campaign if you remember how it's spelled, CR for stimulus. Well, as soon as I made that recording in December 2020, the criticism was ready. He's crazy. <laughs> Excuse me. Ella, he's crazy. That doesn't belong in there. Continuing resolution budget bill is to fund the federal government. It's not to fund the American people's wallets. It doesn't belong in there. And my reaction was ready. You're right. <laughs> You're exactly right. That doesn't mean you can do it. And we can do it. Why? Since the start of Congress, Congress has passed legislation where they insert monies into bills that don't belong in there. And during the pandemic, they were notorious about this. Proposing a COVID relief bill to fund foreign military governments. Pass, proposing a COVID relief bill to build a brand new FBI building. Proposing a COVID relief bill to fund the Department of Copyrights. So I said it don't belong in there. Doesn't mean we can't insert it in there. So let's insert it in there and let's advocate. And one morning we woke up and we heard it was in there. Stimulus was in the CR. We thought we had won until we looked and we realized, no, it is not that type of stimulus. It's unemployment stimulus. So we pushed back and then we said, you know what? Get it in there. And finally, it got in there. One morning we woke up and whammo, it was in there. Finally, it was in there and it was a stimulus check for the millions of Americans. It got in there. And guess what? It became a law. The continuing resolution passed and a $600 stimulus check landed in your hands or your wallet or your bank account in December 2020 or spring uh, or, or January 2021 because of my creation. We had never seen a stimulus check in a continuing resolution nor heard of it until I made the recording. And in fact, second stimulus never happened. There never was a second stimulus check. There never was a second stimulus package. There was no adverse second stimulus package vote, let alone law. So two Saturdays ago, I said on air, do you want to bring it back? And viewers said, yes, bring it back. So I brought it back, and that became CR for Stimulus 2. Point, CR for Stimulus 2022's version, or what I call CR for Stimulus 1.0. And here we go. 
Then, out of nowhere, in less than two weeks, we had the incredible great news coming out of Congress. As Congress said, you know what? We like the Build Back Better Act. We like, we're supporting the president. We're supporting the Build Back Better Act. But we need ancillary pieces of legislation, plural, that are economic recovery. And they, we need to get them out right away. We cannot wait. And that message begat the start of what we call in this channel CR for Stimulus 2.0. 2.0. CR for Stimulus 2.0 started with Pete Aguilar in the House of Representatives no less than a week ago, where he said that we support the recon, the Build Back Better Act, it will be passed, but we need pieces, other pieces of legislation that discuss economic recovery and that de deal with the supply chain issues and deal with inflationary pressure. The Build Back Better Act is social reform and economic reform. So social reform, teeth, dental, vision, economic reform, your wallet. And he said that multiple pieces of legislation must get passed by the House, and that one may pass in less than 24 hours. I deliver the breaking news as soon as it happened, and yes, it happened. The House of Representatives have now passed, last Friday, the first CR for Stimulus 2.0, sending it off to the Senate. It's an economic recovery bill, not a package. And the great news was the reaction that the senators had. They said, we're ready with our CR for Stimulus 3.0 to merge with 2.0. My goodness, of all the incredible bipartisan great news coming up in the second half of this recording. Then we'll be looking to why CR for Stimulus 4.0 heated up shortly thereafter. It would be a Russian sanctions bill that would use the U.S.'s strength to sanction Russia. But could it get a CR in there? Could it get a stimulus check in there as well? All the latest details. I have new breaking details about where 1, 2, 3, and 4.0 are this afternoon. It's brand new today. Then, we'll be looking at the president's opportunity to, to repurpose money to send you out checks. And then, the topic that so many viewers are so excited about. It is SS200 2.0. The new version, two years later, back on this channel. This guy promised to give it to you. He's done nothing about it. But now I show you how he can do it as well. Viewers are very excited for it. Then we'll be turning to rent utilities and food and internet, how you can get more sums of those monies. It's third, so we'll stay the very end. I have a lot of checks for you. The excitement continues as Afternoon's Ally continues. We'll have a brand new breaking news report. We'll be back with you in 60 seconds with all these incredible checks. And then we'll be turning back into the Build Back Better Act. I'll see you back in 60 seconds. As a big, bold, beautiful Afternoon's Ally continues, but first, here's a little bit about the community page with your questions answered about how to get these sums of money across the board. If you want money right now, not five days from now, and not five weeks from now, then reach out to the community page. The volunteers can help you find that money for rent and utilities. That's at news.la.com forward slash community. The community page features a series of volunteers who are viewers like you. They can help you find rent, utilities, SNAP, food benefits, mortgage assistance, and help you with eviction moratorium questions as well. Their Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram individuals reach out to them and indicate the city and state you're from, and they'll get back to you shortly. That's a community page. Volunteers working for you, viewers helping one another. Stay with LA for more. Join LA Late Daily for the excitement of the new LA Late Live Daily. The excitement starts on mornings LA Late at 9 a.m. LA Late returns at 11 a.m. daily. And then afternoons LA Late at 1 p.m. Join us daily as the excitement continues live from Santa Monica on LA Late. Hey, good afternoon, everybody. We continue with a big, bold, beautiful afternoon's L.A. As the House of Representatives have passed CR for Stimulus 2.0, and the Senate says we're going to modify it by merging it with 3.0.
Wow, I have all the incredible great news into this today's recording. Then we'll go over all these incredible shacks and the opportunity of CR for Simulus 1 and 4.0. Where are they today? All the latest details on that. Then stay with me to the very end because I have thousands of dollars of checks for you to get. It's third Simulus. You want 10 to $20,000? Stay to the very end because viewers have gotten it this week as well. Then we'll be looking at the opportunity for fifth stimulus, but why it can be done by... SS200 2.0. It's the part of the recording that viewers are so excited for. And with that, I'm excited you're here as well. We got a big weekend upon us, and it's all getting very exciting. I want you to be part of this incredible family. You found this channel. Now it's time to subscribe and bring us to number two. We are the number three most watched financial news channel in America, broadcast, print, YouTube, cable and also syndication. It's LLI. Bring us to number two by subscribing. Like the video, two, 3,000 likes, and consider becoming a member of Purple Hawk, Purple Power, or Calcino VIP. And with that, let's continue with the incredible sums of money in this big recon. And we're going to continue with where we are right now with CR for Stimulus 1, 2, 3, and 4 brand new breaking details tonight. So first, let's go over CR for Stimulus 1.0, which is where we left off really sort of before the commercial break. My creation, which is using a continuing budget bill to insert a check in there. We did it in 2020. We can do it again. The bill at issue has a late February deadline. And that is continuing resolution. Now, the deadline can be moved. So what's happening right now? Chuck Schumer, this last few hours, today and yesterday, said that the budget bill, the CR, is one of the top priorities of the Senate. So he listed the priorities in press release, in a press conference, and he listed that as a top priority. Good. So far, so good. Then he also said that they're working to get this done before the President's Day break. Also really great news. Third, there's a very great quote that comes out from Senator John Tester, who's a Democrat from Montana, who says, if you get four people to lock down the price tag, the total price tag of the continuing resolution, we're done. We'll get it done this month. And those four people you want to lock down are Patrick Leahy, that's L-E-A-H-Y, Chuck Schumer, Mitch, and a third person. So I want you to really advocate, not obviously to Mitch, because we don't want lobster. <laughs> You want to advocate to Chuck Schumer, Democrat, New York, majority leader of the Senate, and Patrick Leahy, Democrat, Vermont. Advocate for the following two things. One, get the continuing resolution done this month. Do not, do not, underline, do a stopgap. Number two, insert a stimulus check in there like you did in December 2020. You can do it again. Mitch likes stimulus checks. He's not against them. Um, and the great news is that Chuck Schumer is the guy that has told tens of thousands of viewers of this channel that he wants to give you an MSC, so he can certainly give you one right now. The notion is very simple. We've had your back with the Build Back Better Act. We support you as Democrats. We supported you as Democrat senators. So reward us with a check because we've had your back. We can't just wait around indefinitely for Build Back Better. We deserve a check right now. Very simple message. Pick up the phone and call Leahy and Schumer. Those are two you want to advocate too. Now, on the other side, there's something to remember. To pass a law, you need the House, Senate, and the President to sign things in. House members often do things differently than senators. So, in the last 24 hours, the House of Representatives passed a stopgap. Now, do not breathe heavily. Do not breathe heavily. Uh, stopgap means they want to extend the deadline to do the continuing resolution to March, middle March. Now, do not breathe heavily. It's just a back, it's a, it is a uh, back end or a watch your back type of uh, proposal. It's basically saying if the senators don't get it done in February, there's a thing to wall, fall back to. March. Are the senators going to take up that for a vote? We see no indication that the senators are taking up a stopgap for a vote just yet. But it has been ha passed in the House. Do I think they're going to take it for a vote? According to, sh to Tester, if you get these four people locked out of price, which is no problem, they can do it very quickly, will be done in this month, which does not need a one-month stopgap, maybe a few days or two or three days. So that is CR for Stimulus 1.0's latest update. CR for Stimulus is 4.0's latest update, which is the Russian sanctions bill. This was a little strange, remember? The concept of this one was 
Congress is looking to pass a very quick, small, bipartisan sanctions bill to sanction Vladimir Putin and Russia for putting 100,000 Russian troops at the, at the Ukrainian border and threats and potentially invasion. The concept is it needs to go out right away before the invasion occurs. So, Bob Menendez, Democrat, Senator, working hand-in-hand -hand with Marco Rubio. Remember him from last year? We had all those Rubio videos. Uh, we had Where in the World is Marco Rubio? Remember this? Uh, Marco Rubio, Republican, Florida. Bipartisan, very bipartisan, to get this done out the door. This is the opportunity to start stimulus into this because, again, it's bipartisan. It's small, and it goes quickly. So this got sort of mixed signals in the last 24 hours. Bob Menendez saying he thinks it should be done and will get done quickly. But Chuck Schumer's had these press releases and these press conferences in the last 24, 48 hours in which he's not mentioned the Russian sanctions as one of the items on his short list of things to do before the present day weekend break. So Menendez was clearly not uh, was clearly confused by the situation and had a private meeting with Chuck about this on Tuesday. We don't really know what happened. Remember, Bob Menendez is a very close friend of Chuck Schumer. So this is not something that I have to alert Chuck Schumer to. He knows this from Bob Menendez. They probably have had like 20 cups of coffee over this since I've last discussed, since the time of this recording starting. So there you go. So where is CR for Stimulus 2.0 and 3.0? This is really the one that I think is most exciting. This is the one that passed on last Friday in the House. It's an economic recovery legislation. Remember, it's the first of many. I don't know when the next one would be, but this one I told you was going to pass that week. It passed. It is now in the Senate. I adore the reaction to it. The reaction to it is just inspiring. Republican senators say they have their version and it's going to merge with 2.0. And that comments are those comments are incredible, meaning that the 3.0, the Senate version, will merge with 2.0, the House version. Why is this happening? And you're going to hear this for the first time right now in this recording. Why in suddenly, after you know two years, uh, or, or at least it's since day one of the of the Biden administration, have we seen so much bipartisan efforts literally happening left and right? If you think it's unusual you're not alone. There's been a lot of print articles talking about where did all this bipartisan support come from? It's because of a version of CR for stimulus, of uh, Seats for Stimulus 2022. Seats for Stimulus 2022, I first debuted on this channel, or see our seats for stimulus. I first debuted on this channel two years ago. And the concept was give us our stimulus or we're taking your congressional seats. Well, it's like there's another version out there. And the other version is exactly what I predicted about a week ago, which is Republicans and Democrats both believe that the way they win seats in the midterm elections is not just complain about the economy, but propose their fix to the economy and potentially even actually have a pass legislation say, hey, I passed some legislation, whether the other body of Congress didn't do it, I passed something to give you that relief. And that is how they're, that is why there's so much bipartisanship suddenly happening across the board. Wow. So that is CR for symbols one, two, three, and four. Now, let's turn to the incredible great news about SS200 and repurposing existing money. Let's go over the repurposing of existing money because a lot of people understand this concept very simply across the board. Repurposing existing money is something the president can do. How does it work? It's a very simple concept. Programs, federal programs, are established by Act of Congress, and those programs are funded with money. When the programs are over, the programs have ended, but the money is often still there because they didn't use all the money. So where does the money go? Nowhere, until someone orders the money redirected somewhere else. Well, the President of the United States has an air authority to pick up the phone and contact that agency and say, you know what? You have a program. It ended. You have extra money sitting around. I want to use that money for something else. I want to repurpose it. He does not need an act of Congress. He does not need an executive order. This is simply a phone call. I'm going to give you two examples of it that were from two years ago. First, Donald Trump wanted to give you additional weeks of FPUC, that add-on that goes on top of UI and PUA when he was president. But he had to go back to Congress, and he didn't want to. No one would ever want to go back to Congress for that one. So he looked around high and low to see if there was extra money sitting around. He found it at FEMA. FEMA, 
fires, tornadoes, disasters, not unemployment benefits. And he found it. He says, we're going to repurpose it. It's going to be called LWA. And it became a reality. Second opportunity that Donald Trump had. And guess what? He passed it up. He should have done it. And that opportunity was very apparent. $550 billion then sitting at the Small Business Administration under Javita Late. And he should have picked up the phone and said, I'm repurposing as two stimulus checks, send it out and get it to the American people right before election day. He didn't. I think it cost him the election. The money eventually was diverted somewhere else after he was gone as president, but this was an opportunity. So what can Joe Biden do? He could pick up the phone and call up any agency that has extra sums of money and repurpose it out to the American people. Why would he not? It makes no sense not to. Congress passes a lot of legislation on a regular basis and extra legislation during COVID. And there's extra money sitting around. Don't just return it to Treasury. Repurpose it to the American people for the things you promised to get out the door. Which then brings us to SS200. But before I do that, let me tell you how the president repurposes the money. First, he has to find the money. So if you have found money anywhere in an article or in a guidelines that suggests that there's extra money sitting around from existing programs that have now ended, send me a private message and I'll feature it on air. Which then brings us to SS200 2.0. Very exciting news. And for the first time in Afternoons LA, I'm going to detail for you the history of SS200. SS200, which stands for $200 for people on SS, basically, was first featured on this channel when it got news coverage from Elizabeth Warren almost two years ago. What happened? Well, Elizabeth Warren was running for president, and she said that she wanted to give you an additional $200 a month because you have been left behind during and before the pandemic. Your benefits have never caught up. And it first happened on January 14th, 2020. Elizabeth Warren, when running for president, put in writing, she promised to give a traditional $200 a month for six to 12 months, not indefinitely, six to 12 months. Then, two months later, Warren and Schumer widened all introduced proposals to the Senate that mirrored Elizabeth Warren's proposal. Then, the same day, Warren and Wyden had a publication issued, again detailing the extra $200. Liz Warren pulled out from running for president, and Joe Biden said, I love a lot of Liz Warren's policies. I am going to adopt that one, and I'll put it into my campaign promises, and he did in summer 2020. He won the run for president, and then fall 2020, Joe Biden actually put it in his president-elect transition papers, wrote it. I'll quote from it right now. This was published in fall of 2020. I will quote, increase monthly security checks by $200 a month as proposed by Senator Wyden and colleagues. Seniors and people with disabilities are uniquely at risk right now. That's the end of the quote. It was followed by no less than three acts, bills, proposed and introduced by Larson, Sanders, and Romney, all dealing with the situation. Now, as we sit here, nearly, almost, Two years later, actually two years and almost a month later, we have seen not one person of that group do anything about the situation. So that's why I brought back SS200 in the mix. And I'm going to detail it to you right now. Over last year, we talked about this stimulus. Why do we talk about this stimulus in the context of SS200? Because those legislators were basically saying in spring of 2021, who are Democrats. Joe, you promised this. You haven't done it. So we're going to do as a fiscal recon. And we're starting with all these incredible provisions. Remove asset cap, income cap, marriage penalty, and do SS200. Well, of those, none of those can go by executive decree or executive phone call with the exception of SS200. The rest have to still go by recon. And what can the president do? All the president has to do is make a phone call. Joe Biden, make the phone call today. A year ago this month, you saw me feature this guy, Joe Biden, going after Commissioner Saul, then head of the Social Security Administration. He didn't like him. He was a Trump appointee. Well, you have your appointee in right now, and all you have to do is pick up the phone and say one thing. Replace COLA with inflation. Done. And immediately, you will see $200 more per month not just six to 12 months, but lifetime. This, my friends, is SS200, not just 
as promised by Liz for six to 12 months, but lifetime done. That is the concept of it. Now let's go over the functionality of it. The President of the United States has these federal agencies out there like FEMA, SBA, and Social Security. They determine how they run stuff. He can't tell them how to run stuff, but he can give them encouragement and they can follow his lead if they wish to. And among them is Social Security Administration. If he gets them to replace COLA with inflation, you'll get $200 more per month on average a lifetime and not just six to 12 months. How does it work? COLA is a benchmark that's looked at every December for the next year's benefits. And COLA is horrible because COLA doesn't move. So 2015 to 2016, 18 to 19, 20 to 21, it didn't move because it's a bad benchmark. It only went up 5.9% this last year to this year because of inflation. Inflation is the better benchmark. If you swap out COLA, which went up 5.9%, to inflation, which went up 7.5%, then you get 2% more instantly and 7.5% more compared to the month before, lifetime. And who told you it was going to be that type of number? I did. Again, I got this number right to pat myself on the back because, boy, this was a really good predictor. I had told you in spring of 2020, one, that the Federal Reserve, in saying that inflation was going to be 1% to 2% in December, was wrong. I said it was going to be 8%. Them saying it was going to be temporary, I said wrong. It's not going to be temporary. And I also said that Wall Street's prediction of 2 to 3% was wrong. It's going to be 8%. It was not going to be temporary. Well, I was right because inflation came in 7.5% last month. And guess what? New indication just minutes ago, early today, that said that the inflation you felt in December is going to stay around to the second half of this year. One of the leading transport water transport companies, these are companies that have barges that transport products across the globe, say the supply chain, the transport in the sea is so backed up that inflation will continue in second quarter, which is now to all the way to June, and that you won't see inflation come down until perhaps the second half of this year. So this is far more than one month of inflation in December that the Federal Reserve predicted. And this is why you want to do SS200. All right, with that, now let's turn back into the Build Back Better Act and the incredible sums of money in that Build Back Better Act. I want to go over those sums of money with you right now. And then I also have a personal message across the board with it. The Build Back Better Act has a lots of checks in there. And the important thing to know is that Build Back Better Act could become a law instantly. And I don't want you to be left off guard by not knowing the checks in there. So remember, everything that passed in 2021 is still in there and will get supplemented. So it's very important you listen to every single check in here because once it becomes a law, I don't want you to miss it. You want to pounce as a purple hawk. And I'll go over some of the questions sometimes I hear. I don't want you to insert a new verb or adjective or adverb into the sentence and misunderstand what it pays. So... They got the salt cap in there, paying you, allowing you to deduct $72,500 of what you pay in state and local taxes on the federal taxes and raise it for $10,000. They got cheaper prescription medication, growing from 2020 to 2028, 20 to 30 medications. They got $40 billion of free job training in their checks. They got in there the Medicaid gap fix, allowing you to, uh, allowing you to get low-income uh, private insurance as a workaround plan in 12 Republican holdout states. They got in there the Pell Grant, $550 check for college students. They got in there $12,500 for the purchase, toward the purchase of a new electric vehicle. They got in there the housing, which I'm going to go over in a second. They got in there the incredible $65 a month for students who are not in school for nutrition. The hazard pay, done one more year for the earned income tax credit. The great news of the, the CTC, one more year, $3,600, the household tax credit as well, which then tees up the incredible housing provision. Housing first debuted on this channel in late 2020 was the sort of side end thing. And I thought to myself, wow, if only they made this law, there would be so much more money of it. I started getting viewers a quarter million dollars of this money in December 2020. After I got to viewers $25 million of EID loans, it was December and people needed money. It was the holidays. But then suddenly I got a glimpse of something I saw coming on the horizon. I said, I'm going to call it third stimulus. I see it coming in spring of 2021. And why am I excited then about third stimulus? Because I said, for the housing, there's so much money in there. 
it may last over a year. So I want you to get this money as soon as it becomes law. And I think it's about 15,000. Well, it became law. And the average view of this channel got $45,000 of money across the board. What is this money? It is rent, utilities, mortgage assistance, and more. And wow, the great news is that viewers continue to get additional rounds. I'm going to show you what this money is right now, how to get these additional rounds, and we start right now. The money for rent and more started in January 2020. And viewers got a first round for about January, February, March, maybe April. Then they got another round in the summer. And then most viewers got about $15,000 in December 2020. 21. We call it Santa stimulus. They got about two to three months of rent and then one utilities. Well, now that we're in February, it's time to get another round and we're going to look at that rent right across the board. The rent money is huge and it's astronomically incredible. And let's look at the incredible money for rent. Here we go. Viewers have gotten on average this amount of money back in October, but now it's grown to nearly $40,000. Where do you get it? Six places. City Hall, City House Authority. County Hall, County House Authority, State Hall, and State House Authority. And the keywords you're going to say are rent assistance because of COVID, mortgage and utility assistance because of COVID. The keywords you say are that, and then three must. You must reach out to all six places. You must get multiple applications on file, and you must do multiple rounds, which we just went over. Next, utility assistance because of COVID. Go get it. Mark's brother in law is getting $15,000, then get snapped. It's money for food you get from Department of Agriculture. Mark's brother-in-law is getting $25,000 a year over the next 10 years, $250,000. Then we have the combo items, Nisi and Art Sullivan. They got three, and boy, incredible, because Mark was at $32,000, now he's at $50,000. I said, because Mark, where's your third? He had only had two at the time. He went from thirty-two to fifty. then he grew to $100,000. Lorraine, she was at one hundred five, and now she's at one hundred twenty. And there is that incredible money for rent, utilities, mortgages, and more. It's third symbols, but still paying out. Get that round. This round, I want you to go as far out as you can. Go to maybe May. Can't go that far. Go to April. If you're new to this channel, lean on the six places I told you about. If you're a recurring viewer and you got a round before, reach out to that prior round payor, payor <laughs> and then ask for some more. They don't have any more, then go on the nonprofits. The nonprofits are replenished every spring of every year across the board. Uh, finally, a little commentary. Um, I thought I just sort of randomly thought this is a perfect place to talk about it. You know, the reason why this channel has succeeded, the reason why you have succeeded, is because this is an informational news channel. And I have shown people since day one, when I press record how to get money. On a deserted beach in the middle of a lockdown in Hermosa Beach, millions of Americans didn't understand why they had not gotten money that they had applied for under then the first stimulus package. They'd applied for the EIDL grant. They had not gotten. They applied for the EIDL loan. They had not gotten. Their businesses were about to go under, literally about to go over under. I know the businesses because I spoke to these people in private messaging. This is money that was supposed to be theirs. Then other people who were just not business owners, they were employees. They had applied for PUA as soon as it went live. I had the very first recordings about PUA because it was going live on the 28th, I believe it was, of April. I had recordings, I believe, on the 27th. And when it went live, it only went live about two states initially. People were not getting the PUA. They were not getting the UI. They were not getting the PUFPUC. I showed the viewers how to get the money. It's all about me educating you how to get the money. Then when third stimulus became law, showing you how to get the money in third stimulus. And even then, when I made the recordings about third stimulus, I said, hey, it's a $14 stimulus check, but I can get you at least $15,000. The viewers on this channel got better. All of you got better over time. The more you understood the nuances of getting the money, you got better. It was sometimes sort of, you know, an emotional uh, uh, breakthrough that viewers sometimes had to figure out, I have to just pick up the phone. I have to get the guts to pick up the phone and call and ask for the money. And then you got the money. And then you realize, wait, I can get more of this money. And then it became addictive. For several months, we did on this channel where I said, if you have a success story, post in the live chat. Remember when I used to say that? If you have a success story, post in the live chat. Because I understood that uh, group motiva motivation works. 
In December 2020, when we're in the worst part of the pandemic and we didn't think there was money anywhere, a lot of people said, oh, there's no money in my safe. There was. I had to really have my notes on air. And I have to actually sometimes say the viewer's name. Here is Jessica. She got in Michigan. There's no money in Michigan. Jessica got it. There's no money in Arkansas. I have Lorraine. She got in Arkansas. So I had to really encourage people. Here is where we are in 2022. I got to tell you, in the universe of news reporting, there is good and there's bad and there's ugly. And there's some news sites, and I'm not referring to YouTube sites. I'm referring to news sites where the owners are billionaires. They're billionaires. And they're funded by foreign governments to just buy up newspapers left and right. And guess what they do? They don't spend one minute helping you. They don't spend one minute helping you. They just collect billions of donations for foreign governments to buy another publication and, and, and sell merchandise at $75 a sweater and put their names in airports. Do they ever help you? They don't. And so when they see me coming around, they say wacko stuff that now the viewership of this channel sort of laughs at. Here's this kid that says under third symbols, people can get 15000 It's not true. There's only $1,400. Did you ever help anyone get anyone money under third symbols? No. Did you ever even cover what was in the third symbols? No. And these are people who never helped people. The notion of this channel has always been helping one another. So I've always adored viewers who are in the live chat. So if someone says something like, I'm in Arkansas, I'm having problems finding money. And there may be someone, there's always someone in that same state of live chat. I'm in your state, I'm down the road. I'm actually, I dated your sister. <clears throat> you did? Uh, I never, she, she didn't tell me this. <laughs> so there's always someone in the live chat who knows the answer to the equation. The spirit of this channel is helping one another. So continue to help one another. Don't let anyone's negativity come across the land. And across that come I mean, up today is more shows across the land. We have Evenings Out of Light, which is at 5 o'clock, brand new. We have Evenings Countdown at 6 o'clock. Then we have 7 o'clock's Home Stream Stimulus. And then we have Evenings Extra. We have 9 o'clock, 10 o'clock, 11.30's Overnight's Allied as well. And then we're back to uh, as thereafter. It's Super Bowl weekend and Super Bowl Sunday. And, uh, you know, it, it is a, an emotional tug of war every time I say that on camera. I, I want to tell you why it's emotional for me to say it to you. In 2021, when the Super Bowl was not in Los Angeles, <laughs> I told viewers, you know what? I haven't taken a one day off since the first day of this recording. I've recorded every single day since April 2020. And I recorded every single day. But going into Super Bowl 2021, I said, you know what? I'm going to take off one day. I think it was a half a day. I don't think I took off the whole day. And I told viewers ahead of time. So when I was gone, as you know, back in December for three weeks um, uh, due to hospitalization, uh, and uh, viewers just sort of thought that it, it, uh, viewers, some viewers had strange reactions to it, not knowing where I was. And I wanted to say, hey, I'm the guy who never took off a day since except Super Bowl 2021. <laughs> So now that we have Super Bowl 2022, am I going to take off for it? When it's in Los Angeles, answer the Rams, I'm going to figure out how to make at least one recording is my promise to you that day. So I'm not taking off the whole day. So just shows you then. <laughs> Coming up next is a lot of shows. And I'm excited for you. But first, I want you to subscribe, like the video, and consider becoming a member. Remember, this is the number two most watched, number three most watched financial news channel in America. Bring us to number two by subscribing. We all care, we all help, and we all love each other. Other places, maybe not so much, but who cares about that? We have the bank. Well, we're, we're almost home. <laughs> stay informed, stay focused. Have a beautiful afternoon, and stay with LA for more.